the High Tech Nomad here, and today I'm doing this tutorial on the go, so to speak, using Moby Zen's screen recorder that even includes a little picture in picture, which is why you can see my face. And I'll be doing a review on that a little bit later. It's a really great program. It allows you to record the screen and the sound and the video, and it really helps when I wanted, you know, I was using my this productivity tool, which we're going to take a look at, which is called Auto SMS. And I was like, you know, this is a really good tool. And I said, you know, I want to do a video on this. And, you know, I don't want to set up my camera and a screen caption, everything like that. I can just pop this out and decide I'm going to do it for you. And so let's get into it. Now, I can't remember whether I read it or somebody said it to me, but it was, it came to the, uh, the equivalency was beware somebody that's always on your, on their phone. But when you text them, it takes them an hour to get back to you. The joke obviously being that, you know, they're always on their phone, except for when you text them and then all of a sudden they can't get back to you. So that's where auto, MS, auto SMS comes in. So let's just take a look at it. So auto SMS, you can get the free version and this is the purchased version that, I, that I'm using here right now. So I'll have a link for this down in the description. What it does is it automates your your texting, We're gonna, I'm not gonna say SMS, it's gonna automate your texting for you. So as you can see, I have a couple of different profiles already set up. You see, I have a standard one that I turn on almost all the time. I have a do not disturb, a travel day, a client day, and a vacation day. Let's take a look at the standard one. Now the standard one is one I have on 90% of the time. And what it does is it will automatically respond to a text message or a phone call. And you can see I have response to, to phone call, re response to text. I could have it read out the text to me. I don't do that right now in this particular profile. And this is what it does. It will automatically reply and say, hey, I received your text, but I haven't yet read it. And I'll respond to you as soon as possible. So this way a person's getting immediate feedback. Yeah, I got the message and I haven't read it, and so don't expect a reply from me anytime in the near future, is essentially what I'm saying. And the same for a phone call. So if I miss a phone call, it says, hey, look, I saw that you call, but you know, obviously I, I didn't get it. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And you can have either the same message for both phone and text, or you can have two separate ones. I, used, I like to do two separate ones. And one of the things I, I put in personally is I put in auto reply uh, colon, as opposed to just the message, because that almost seemed to me, it was like, so did he just text me a message saying that he didn't get my, so I said, let me just put an auto reply so that they know that it's not something that I'm doing. Now, the next one um, is include location, which I think I only do that when, for example, if I'm in Vegas and friends of ours are trying to catch up with one another and they're sending me a text message and I may not hear it, this auto location will tell them, yeah, you didn't get your message, but this is where he's at. He's, he's at the Tropicana, or wherever, and they'll, they'll come and get me. Um, so then we also have, when do we want it on? This one is always on when I turn it on. The reply list is everybody, and the no reply list is VIPs. So the no reply list is people who don't need to keep getting this, because if they keep getting it, they're just gonna get annoyed. So I have people on there my wife, my business partner, things like that. It's like, they don't need, they know I'm, I'll get back to them when I get back to them, okay? Now under options, we have, you know, get notified that the message gets sent, save the message to your text program so that you can see it went out, use a different message for phone calls and this, we talked about that. There is a widget for quick select, which we'll talk about later. Basically, when a text message comes in, you can pick a, a message to just send back out. Um, I leave this one on which is reply only once to a contact in each session. So if I have it on <clears throat> and they get that message and, and for whatever reason they text me back again in 10 minutes, they're not gonna get, keep getting this message. So I usually leave that one on. Silent mode, I have that on one of the profiles, not on this profile. And that is that it will not even let the phone ring, not let it vibrate, just a text comes in, it sends this out, that's, that's fine. You'll see where I use that later. Uh, ignore numbers. If there's certain numbers, I say just ignore it. Don't worry about it. And then it has no response for red message within a certain amount of time. So for example, if you send me a text message and I read it or I respond to it, then there's no reason for it to send that automatic message. So I think I have it set for the longest, uh, so three minutes. So 
you send me a text message and I don't respond or look at it within three minutes, it will send you back a text message saying, hey, he got it, but he hasn't looked at it yet, which I think is absolutely fantastic. And the phone call one, uh, a hang up phone call and exclusion list, the, it does just what you think it will do. If somebody calls, it just hangs right up on them and sends them a text message. So that's great for, you know, you're someplace you don't want it to, you don't want to, you know, if you put it on do not disturb, the call still comes in and the phone keeps ringing. Uh, actually, no, I'm sorry, not on do not disturb, on silent, you know, the phone will kind of buzz or whatever. So this just automatically hangs up. So I have different ones for different things. So that's the one that I normally leave on 90% of the time. Um, I have a do not disturb one, which is just like the standard one, only it there's no ringer and it hangs up on people. So that's fine. Then I have a different message for travel day. So I have a travel day one that's, that says, look, uh, I, I mean, I'm going to be on and off planes all day, so I'll get back to you tomorrow. So I'm setting an expectation for a text message saying, hey, don't, you know, don't even think about hearing from me. And I have one for vacation and um, pretty much the same thing there. Oh, I, I usually put in the day. I'm on vacation. I'll be back in two days or three days or whatever the heck it is. So those are the profiles. You can have as many as you want and you can have different ones on and you can have different ones on for different things. So for example, I might want to have the travel day and I'll come down and in options on when on, where is it? Where is it? I'll find it here somewhere. It's in here somewhere. But in any event, what I can do is I can set this one to, oh, here it is where it says turn on always. I can set a specific day and time. So I'll say, turn this one on. Um, for example, I work with a lot of nightclubs on the weekend. So I used to have a different one for the nightclub saying, hey, I'm probably at this nightclub. This is what to do. This is how you reach me. And I would have that only be available between 11 and two on a Saturday night. So it's really got some, some nice features as far as some flexibility as, as far as um, the profile is concerned, the profiles are concerned. All right, let's take a look and see. So here it shows me the last five that it sent out. It tells me what time, so I can go in, I can take a look at them. Obviously I've cleaned this up, so you just see names, but you can also make it so it shows you the name and number. So that's kind of nice, so at least you know what's going on. Now it has some other features that have to do with text messaging, but really you know, don't have to do with this automated part. So one of them is this SMS forwarding. And this SMS forwarding is good because it will forward your messages to another place, which is really cool. Because if you, you know, your phone's not working or you want, you know, if I don't get it, my wife's going to get it. Or if I don't get it, I want my partner to get it. This way it's, it's going to automatically forward them, you know, who, who, which messages should it forward, when, where, how, why. So that's actually pretty good. I have another video where I talk about how SMS or text messages, you know, they can go to email, they can go to, there's some boards, there's a, a, a project that I did where you can text a message and it shows up on a board, things like that. So in any event, so this forwarding is, is pretty cool. Schedule, schedule is as one might expect. Schedule allows you to <clears throat> set up a, a text message and have it play at a later time. So for example, in my case, I set up one for New Year's Eve. Um, I knew I was gonna be busy, so I set it up for 1201 and I put in all my friends. And again, it doesn't send it to them as a group one, which is different, oh, they, they do have group. It sends it to them as each individual one. So each person felt like I had taken you know, 1201 and texted them personally. Um, what's also good about this is that you can change, I'm not gonna click on it because it'll show the phone numbers, but I can click on this and I can set it for uh, New Year's Eve 2019. And again, it will do that because I've already picked everybody and I've gone through it. So I can just leave it just as it is. It has a birthday function. So again, you can add either from your own contacts. It's supposed to download from Facebook, but it doesn't. I, I have a feeling that they, their link between them and Facebook doesn't work anymore. But in any event, I think you get the basic idea. So you can go in, you can add somebody, add their birthday, add, you know, happy birthday. Let's get together for a drink and this will, and just leave it here and it will do it at that time. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's come back here. Instant. Instant is kind of weird. I understand what they're doing. They're trying to make it so that you could set up responses to a specific person. So if somebody says to you, you know, are you going to be at the show in two hours? You can come in here and click on it and say yes. 
most of most of these kinds of things are actually in your text messaging program now so i don't i don't think you really need it but you can see i can just click on it and hit send and it'll automate so i can have pre-canned messages uh that are already in there and they can either be to a specific person or they can be generic so it might be directions to my office and i can leave them in here and that's better than the messaging program because the messaging program will only allow you to do so many characters so i can really do a lot with this um, we took a look at birthday uh, instant reader you can set it up to actually read your text messages as they come in there's another program called uh, text text aloud no not text aloud uh, what is it I can't remember it in any event I'll put a link down the bottom there's another program that just reads out your text messages so this is cool so it's like that program plus the ability to, to respond to things so you can see it's got a lot of nice stuff in it so again I can turn this on. It will read text messages as they come in. So for example, Sasha Bogdanovskaya, 630. Okay. So I can turn that Armin on. Armin at Beckles.com. Stop, you can stop. So it will um, read them as they come in. You can set it. You can set it for what time of day, which, you know, so in between these times, read my text messages out and things like that. So that's very helpful. If the phone's on the bed and I get a text message, I know what it is. Now the messages themselves, that's very similar to that instant that we saw before. This is where you can put in and say, okay, this is, you know, these are directions or these is the recipe or this is the steps to do this or so anything that's really long and complicated that you need to text to somebody, you can put it in here. And then when you need to send it, you can come in here and click on it and then send it out. So that's really good. Then you have groups right now. I just have a VIPs group and that group is the group. So when I do things like say, don't send an automatic SMS to anybody that's in this VIPs group. But um, when I was working with one of the nightclubs, we used to have uh, all these young ladies and gentlemen that used to work in the code check and I had a group called code check. And so when I needed to find out who could work Friday night in the code check, I could just click on that, click on who wants to work Friday night, it would send out an individual message to everybody. Somebody would respond. You get how that is. Um, we have backup and restore, which is really good because obviously once you take a time and set all these up, you, know, you don't want to do this again. And so they allow you to do a backup and this file can then be copied onto your, uh, up to the cloud, or you can take and copy it to a, um, uh, SD card or something like that. And you can have it for later and then you can bring it back in. So once you get this set up the way you want it, you can leave, you can have a backup of it. So when you change phones, you just load that back on and you're there. It has, um, it supports a number of different languages. The languages obviously are just going to be the titles and the things of that nature. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, it has a, three themes as a green, a black and a pink. Uh, I think I've always gone with the green. Yeah, I know why this is all bubble gum and cotton candy here. Took the black the blacks probably gonna look too dark. Eh. It's not too bad. I, I think I'm. I think the the green is the the best choice, given what we have. You can share the app and you can run some diagnostics if you have a problem, and you have an about window. So like I said, I I usually leave. Let's go back over. So I usually have this one on, which just says, "Hey, I got your text message," um, and again, it gives me five or ten minutes. If I don't respond to somebody within five or ten minutes, it sends a message saying, "Hey." I just want you to know he got your message, but he hasn't looked at it yet. I'm sure once he does, he'll respond to you ASAP. And as I said, I have one for travel days and client days. Cause again, you know, a client day might be, Hey, you know, I'm going to be out of touch until late afternoon or early evening. I'll respond to you then. And it just, it sets people's expectation. And especially now, again, they send a text message. You may not have seen it, but they actually, I texted him 20 minutes ago. I don't know why he hasn't gotten back to me. Well, this will do it. Now they get a thing. Hey, I'm going to be out of touch until late afternoon or tomorrow. So don't expect, uh, don't expect to hear from me until then. All right. So this has been a quick on the fly, how to review product review of auto SMS. Hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe. I'm trying to get to 2,500 subscribers as quickly as possible. So please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. And, uh, so you can subscribe to the channel and find out more wonderful things like this. And until then, this is the High Tech Nomad signing out.